What is up you guys? This is your boy SRXGS and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a full closet tour. I kind of wanted to switch things up with this video and kind of keep it like really casual. So it's going to be a vlog style type of video. I'm going to go through my closet and pull out some of my favorite pieces and just kind of talk about it in depth. I'm also going to be giving you guys like organization tips as the video goes along. I definitely think this video is going to get a little chatty and a little bit long. So sit back, get cozy and let's dive into it. So before we kind of get into like all the pieces and stuff, I wanted to kind of share with you guys how my closet is actually set up. Let's start off like on the top left. So on the top left, I just have a bunch of like bags, like, you know, when I go for travel and stuff like that. And then to the right of that, I have all of my trousers. And then on the right of that, I have um, just a bunch of hats and beanies and stuff like that. And then right here, I have something a little special. I'll kind of get into that a little bit later. And then towards the top right, I have just a bunch of my shoes. And then if we kind of like move down, I have like this section right here that has like all of my accessories and like all of my like cologne and stuff like that. And then underneath that, I have um, kind of like this cubicle thing from Target and it just has all of my basic tees, a bunch of like sweaters for like when I'm just chilling at home or like when I go to the gym. And then underneath that, I have this cubicle thing that houses like my underwear. And then to the left of that, I just have like this hamper, um, more kind of like gym wear and like homeware and then here i just have like a bunch of like my tech boxes and stuff like that and then to the right of that i have um just like a box that's filled with a ton of like my stuff from my clothing brand and then moving to the top which is like the best part of the closet i just have all of my clothes and yeah so i kind of just wanted to start off with that and just kind of give you guys a little bit uh, more insight as to like how i set up my closet so now i'm gonna take you guys kind of like section by section and just kind of pull some of my favorite pieces so let's get into it okay, so let's kind of start off with um the top left section so like i said right here i just have this herschel weekender bag it's just filled with like a bunch of other mini bags that i use like when i go traveling and stuff like that and then to the right i have all of my trousers uh, let me just like show you some of my favorites so this one right here is just like a basic pair of black crop trousers from H&M. One thing that I really like to do with pretty much all of my clothes, um, at least my pants anyway, is I take it to this lady that I met a while back and she alters them for me. So whether it be like if I'm trying to go for like a crop vibe or like a skinny tapered vibe, she really hooks it up. Um, she's like super cheap too. So that's definitely something that I think that a lot of you guys should do just in case like you guys were wondering kind of like how I get my how I get my pants to fit really good. And it doesn't have to be like super crazy expensive pants. Like this pair right here, it was literally like, I think it was like $25. And then the lady charged me around like $10 to get it cropped and tapered. And it fits me like a gem. So that's definitely something that I think that you guys should kind of like do if you have a problem like me when pants don't really fit you right. So this is definitely one of my go-tos. So I just have like a ton right here. And the way I kind of set up my pants is I kind of organize them in likeliness of how like how much I would use each one so all the ones like towards the top are like my go-to's and then towards the like as we go a little bit more down those are the ones that I wouldn't necessarily wear all the time so yeah that's that and then to the right of that we just have like a ton of my hats um I got like this one from my brand it just says like the N for indecisive um this one has been one of my favorites lately so it's like this houndstooth one from Zara I got this like two or three like Black Fridays ago um, and it's definitely been one of my favorites as of late just because it was kind of like tucked to the back so I forgot about it but I've been using this guy like a lot lately and it was a steal I think I got this for only like nine dollars so that's that okay so to the right of the hat is something that's really special um, I didn't really talk about it if you follow me on Instagram um, my, inter my Instagram is at srxgs you guys would know that just recently I was featured in a magazine it was my first ever like print magazine feature so this is what this is right here so it's just like this print magazine from um, I believe they're based in New York and it's called MSKF and my feature is not just one page it was like four pages so let me kind of just like show you real quick I'm like kind of towards the back so yeah so this is mine I'm actually giving this one away to a subscriber or to a follower of mine so I think when this video goes up someone would have already won it um, but yeah, this was like probably one of the biggest accomplishments I got like in 2018. So yeah, so they just kind of interviewed me and asked me like about fashion and like my come up and stuff like that. So yeah, it was four pages. Um, so yeah, it was definitely like a pretty cool thing for me. And it's just super surreal. 
So yeah, so I got one copy right here for one of my subscribers and then I'm just gonna keep one like for myself. Now kind of moving towards like something that's a little bit more exciting for you guys. To the right, I just have all of my sneakers and like my boots and all that good stuff. As you can see, some of them are in their original box and some of them are in like this Ikea black box. I definitely would recommend this like Ikea black box if you guys don't have the original box. But for me personally, if I could kind of like take it back and if I could like, you know, keep all of my original boxes, I would have done that just because I don't really like how it looks like, you know, some has the original box and then some doesn't. I don't know, that's a little funny to me. I'm just kind of like, I'm trying to figure that out as of right now. Um, but yeah, let me kind of pull some of my favorites. Of course, I know a lot of you guys are going to ask like about these UZ500s. This is probably one of my most recent cops. I hope. I just recently got this. I don't want to talk about it too much because I got another video coming up, like a huge recent pickup where I'm really going to go in and talk about them. But yeah, this guy was definitely like a splurge for me. But I've just been having like a good year lately in terms of like my business and like my clothing line and like YouTube is doing really well for me. So I kind of just wanted to get something that, you know, I kind of wanted to celebrate that fact. So this was definitely that for me. Another thing that I really want to talk about is actually these guys right here. So these babies right here are just like a basic like leather white sneakers are actually from H&M. And I think I got these on sale for like $35. And the reason why I got these was because I was looking for like the perfect leather white sneaker and kind of saw these like at H&M I just was like damn these are fresh and of course they're inspired by the common projects and I think after like kind of you know using these and sporting these and styling them I think I'm actually thinking about really making the splurge and biting the bullet and getting the common projects but I don't know enough about them so if any of you guys own a pair of the I believe they're called like the Achilles low or something like that uh, if any of you guys have them can you just like do me a favor and comment down below you know how does the sizing work what are your thoughts on them and stuff because I mean I fuck with this H&M pair but lately I've kind of just been trying to invest in more pieces that's gonna last me a really long time although this one is like a really great quality for like that price range I'd rather just kind of get something that I know is gonna hold up but if any of you guys have the common projects in that style Style, just drop a comment below like what your thoughts like what size should I pick up or like how does it fit and all that good stuff um, so yeah so this is probably one of my favorites I, if you can kind of like see it towards like all the way to the back it's just like my Jordans and if you guys kind of watched my I did like a shoe collection video where I went in depth with like all of these shoes but I don't ever wear these shoes these were one of them was gifted to me by my cousin and then one of them is just kind of one that I got by myself but even though like I don't use it it's something that I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of just because like back in the day like actually having a pair of Jordans was like you were the shit like if you had them um so they really do hold like a sentimental sentimental value to me so that's why I'm never gonna get rid of them but um yeah that's pretty much it for my shoes if any of you guys like have any suggestions as to like how I could store these like I know some people use like the clear um glass boxes or i saw this thing on like mr porter where people would buy like white boxes and then they would take like polaroids of their shoe and then put it in the front because yeah like i said i'm not really feeling this like whole mix-up vibe so just uh drop a comment down below if you have any suggestions on that all right so right underneath my shoes is just like all of my hangers and stuff like that and then underneath that i have like all of my accessories and like my colognes and stuff like that so one tip that i really have for you guys is um just to make sure that like all of your hangers are the same so i just use this one right here from ikea it's just that simple wooden white one and they're like super inexpensive and they come in they're pretty affordable in my opinion i say to always make sure that like all of your uh, hangers are the same because it actually like saves like you space when you're like putting your clothes in your closet because if you have different hangers from like different brands and like they're all different styles the spacing between your clothes is going to be a little off and then you're not going to be able to maximize the space of your actual closet that's something that i learned like when i first moved to washington um because when i used to live in hawaii i kind of just to use like any kind of hanger um so definitely invest or not even invest because these are cheap but just like buy hangers that are all the same because not only is it going to make the most out of the space you have but it just looks nicer like if you could just kind of see right here i only use like the ikea white hangers and you see how like how nice and organized that is so that's just definitely something to keep in mind but yeah anyways uh these are from ikea so kind of moving down to a section that is probably one of my most aesthetically pleasing and most nicest sections um it's just my like jewelry section alongside of my cologne yeah so like i said all of my colognes are here and this one if i had to 
probably wear one every single day it would be this guy right here this one is the another 13 from Le Labo. the team over at Le Labo actually sent this to me but i'm super thankful that they did because this guy is so expensive but i now understand why it's so expensive like a little does go a long way and i had this for a while and if you can see the top like is I don't know it's still there like there's a lot in here and kind of like after using it and stuff i understand why like this brand is so expensive let me just spray some on my right now if you can smell through the camera you would understand what i'm talking about because this guy smells super good so this is definitely my favorite and yeah i just have like within that like tray that's in here i just have like some polaroids of like some family um and some friends just like when we have like parties and stuff or like when I was in Hawaii, I kind of just like to have it there just because I don't know where else to put it. So like in these boxes right here is just like all of my watches. I use like this crystal clear like container thing from Target because it just makes everything look, look more organized and stuff. And I'm just, I just kind of got lucky how this container fit uh, matched up with this one right here. This is heavy. This is also from Target as well. So definitely if you guys are looking for kind of like closet organization things definitely check out ikea and target because they have like the best stuff i think that's pretty much that for that section so kind of moving toward uh moving down to this cubicle thing which is also from target so all of my basic tees is just right here and i try to with everything in my closet i do my best to try to color coordinate them so as you can see i got like the black on the top because that is something that i opt for and then white and then gray and then towards the back of this stack i just have um other forms of t-shirts like long sleeve colored ones and polos so this basic tee is just from uniqlo and this is probably hands down my favorite basic tee of all time i think before this video goes up i'm gonna have another video talking all about basic tees and stuff like that so i'll be sure to kind of throw up a card i think it's like over there or over there or something yeah uniqlo basic tees are the best below that i just have all of like my sweaters for you know when i'm lounging at home or when i go to the gym when i'm really trying to hit like that cardio and stuff i always like to wear a sweater because you sweat more um and then here in this little bin i just have like my underwear and like my it's like in this divider thing so i use the bottom of that to split it so half of it is my underwear and half of it is my socks speaking of uniqlo and really good socks let me just show you guys real quick so i think one of the questions that i get asked so much on my youtube channel is like where's your socks from like where do you get your socks from like or what brand is that and it's just so funny because i would just never think that like out of all the things you guys get asking for you guys are always asking for my socks and all the socks that i wear is from uniqlo they used to be from h&m but um, I just found that the Uniqlo ones are better. So this is what they kind of look like. And I believe it's like 4 for $9.90, which is a really good deal in my opinion. They're really thick and they're super soft. And if you like machine wash them and air dry them, they won't like shrink or anything. They come in so many colors. So I just recently picked up these and I got these colors specifically for my Yeezys because this is kind of like the color tones of that. So definitely check out like Uniqlo for really good like deals on just like really good basics. Well, actually, if you don't have the Uniqlo around you, if you're not near one, um, just check the description box of this video because I'll be sure to leave links to everything that I mentioned, like all the stuff that I'm like featuring and stuff like that. So definitely a good steal on socks at Uniqlo. Just kind of moving towards the right of that. I just have like this hamper from Target. There's like nothing special about it. I just really like this one in particular because I like the gray uh, color and then I like just how simple and modern it is and i don't like those kind of hammers that are like plastic you know like those kind of look cheap in my opinion so i just like this one it just opens like that like you see that and it has like a little magnet thing so to the left of that i just have more like gym wear and stuff like that um like you know houseware and then underneath this i just have um like all my let me just show you because since you're already here and if you're already watching this video then you're probably curious as to what's in here so everything in here is all of my electronic boxes i don't like to throw away any of the electronic boxes that came with the actual things i use so like my phone stuff is in here like um my camera boxes in there and just like a bunch of other random like tech bits are in there oh, my high school diplomas in here shout out to graduating <laughs> shout out to my paul high school but yeah so just like kind of important things like that are in this box i legit don't understand how people do this vlogging thing like i'm out of breath and i'm over here sweating but let's just keep going so to the left of that we have this box and as some of you guys may or may not know um i have like my own clothing line and stuff so 
this is kind of where I keep like all of the leftover inventory. Oh, let me cover my address. So I just kind of got like my packing supplies and then I got like some of the, like I said, inventory that we have left. Um, and yeah, it's just super crazy because that one box, um, I just recently had a drop and it did really well. So out of six boxes, it turned into barely one box. So thank you so much to everyone who like purchases stuff from my brand and kind of like supports me in that way. Um, it really means a lot to me and I try to do my best to, you know, just make sure that everything goes smoothly, like with the shipping and like with the customer service and all that stuff, like that's all me. So it's definitely something that I take a lot of pride in. So yeah, just like I said, thank you to everyone who purchases who purchases stuff from the brand because it really helps me like just in life and it's nice seeing you guys like um rock the clothes that i make because yeah uh so before we hop into the clothes i forgot to mention but i just recently started wearing like a ton of well not a ton of but i just recently started kind of like getting into wearing necklaces and stuff before i just never could pull them off like it looked a little weird on me so i just hang them like right here on the rod that's already inside of my closet and it's just like these two guys right here definitely um a steal they were both super cheap but make sure you if you're watching this video make sure to come back for my other video because i'm gonna just like sit down and talk about all the stuff that i recently picked up so that video is coming very soon because i definitely like everything that's in my closet right now i'm not trying to brag but they're pretty much all of it's pretty much brand new because i've been shopping a ton lately so definitely come back for that video i think the part that a lot of you guys are waiting for and you want to like see and you want me to talk about is all of my clothes so this is all of my clothes right here and so the way that I set this up is I have all of my jackets that I use during that season. So we're currently in spring right now. So I have just a bunch of like light jackets, like these two from members only. I got like this overshirt from H&M, a bomber jacket, and then like two um, like denim jackets. And then after that, I try my best to color coordinate everything in my closet. So it kind of goes from light to dark. The reason why I do that is kind of like when you start your day and when you want to like kind of create an outfit it's just more convenient to have everything color coordinated because when you wake up you're like oh maybe i want to wear like a gray shirt today it's going to be hard if your gray shirts are all like mixed up and stuff so this is definitely something that i like to do and it's something i learned how to do because um as some of you guys may know i used to work at h&m before and i worked there for like a total of two years so i like know how to do all this stuff but yeah this is definitely something that i think a lot of you guys should do and it's something that i never used to do before on start until i started working in retail and it definitely helps um it is more convenient you know it's just and not to mention it's definitely like more visually appealing when everything is nice and organized um so yeah i uh, let's go ahead and pull out some of my favorite pieces um since you guys are already here um i don't know it's kind of hard because everyone is my favorite piece because I don't like to buy things that I don't genuinely like, but I guess if I had to pull like one specific jacket, it would probably be this one right here. It's just this like wool, this gray wool, I love ugly jacket. Um, it's kind of like this like coaches, Harrington type of vibe. I really like this one in particular because the quality on it is just super A1. And yeah, I just really like how it's simple. You can dress it up or dress it down. This is definitely a piece that is my go-to when things kind of are more on the cooler side here. Like during like fall and winter, this is definitely a go-to for me. Oh, this one is probably one of my favorites too. I just don't get a chance to wear it that often. It's this sparkle, almost wool-like material um, flannel from Theory. Recently, my family from Hawaii came down and we were at the outlets. And if you guys know anything about Theory, like Theory is an expensive brand, but it's something that I've always wanted. And it's a brand that like I personally believe in. I would save up my money to actually kind of get a Theory piece. So like I said, recently I've been doing really well like in terms of my business and stuff. So when we went to the outlets, I was really excited because um, there was a Theory store there and I kind of wanted to like get a couple pieces. So I got this one right here and then I also got, I also got this like um, cashmere sweater, which is also from Theory. And yeah, these two pieces right here are definitely like probably some of my favorite pieces in my whole entire closet. And the crazy thing about these two pieces is actually like when I bought it, I bought it with my own money, right? So when I bought it, I was feeling like super gassed because like, you know, it's like one of those things that you save your money for and you work really hard. And when you buy something that you really wanted, it's kind of like a sense of accomplishment. Well, at least for me it is. But anyways, I copped it and then we got back in the car and my auntie and uncle was like, oh, like what brand is that? Or like, how much was that? And I told them how much it was. And then my auntie and my uncle gave me money to actually 
like make up for the fact that I bought it um, just because I don't see them that often and I don't know I guess they were just being nice and stuff so not only are these pieces like very special to me because they're from theory and they are good quality but every single time I wear them I think about like my auntie and my uncle and just like everyone back home so I like pieces like this not only is it good quality but it definitely has like a sentimental value so these two pieces from theory are definitely one of um, some of my favorites I guess like to kind of end things off with like my favorites this is gonna come as no surprise to you guys but it is just this ASOS coat right here if you've been following me for a really long time you already know what it is like I featured this coat on my channel a disgusting amount of times i wear it i used to wear it so much but it's like getting hot here in washington so i can't wear it as much but yeah this was definitely a steal i remember when i caught this it was super inexpensive i think it was around like 70 dollars or something this is definitely one of my favorite pieces but it's just like tucked to the back because it's getting hot in here i mean it's getting hot in washington so i can't wear it but a lot of you guys always give me compliments when I feature this on my YouTube channel and stuff. So I'll do my best to kind of try to link something similar because I know this particular style is sold out. That's pretty much it. Like I don't, I definitely, like I said, every single piece of mine that I popped is my favorite because like I said, I don't buy things that I don't 100% like. Um, I, I don't want to like talk, I could talk about all my clothes like all day, every day, but those are just some of my favorites. Yeah, so just that's that and then i guess to the right of that i just have like this backpack and like this tote bag and this is another piece i'm gonna feature in one of my recent pickups videos so be sure to stay tuned for that and that's it for my full closet tour hopefully you guys enjoyed that um like i said i just kind of wanted to keep things super casual and my actual closet there's like really nothing fancy about it just something simple you know for like that everyday casual flex so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you guys kind of took um some inspo from like the little tips that i gave you guys throughout the video like i said i'll try my best to link everything that's still available that i mentioned in the description box below so be sure to check that out and um yeah i think that's it so until next time peace